George Cook was sage here on a very snowy Wednesday morning here in Eugene. Soon summer will be here and with it will be the introduction of the new Sage 1 spay and switch rods. Two families of brand new rods in both spay and switch, spay from 5 through 10 weight, doubled up on the popular 7 and 8 weights. Switch rods will be found from a brand new 4 weight through 8 weight. These rods are freakishly light. Super light in hand, produce tremendous line speed, just simply leap off the water with speed in terms of the D loop and the forward cast. Going to be perfect companions for lines like the Steelhead Scandi, Skagit Flight, Scandi Versi Tip on some of the ones that are sub 13 feet long, even Skagit Shorts on the switch rods, for instance. Okay? Hallmark of the one family has been weight reduction. These span switch rods will be upwards of 20% lighter than their Z-axis counterparts. Again, within this specter of design is the caster's contact with the line through the kinetic technology story brought forth by the Sage 1 series. Casters of all levels will realize tight loops, high line speed, positive turnover, even in windy conditions such as Oregon's Deschutes, Idaho's Clearwater. Question, George, uh, and I think one that many people are going to ask are, I already have several, you know, Z-axis spay rods, uh, whether I'm a Pacific Northwest angler or otherwise. What's going to make me super excited to get another one of these uh, add to my quiver? Uh, what, that's, my, that's one question. And I think the other one is, is lighter better in a spay rod? Uh, maybe a question that gets asked as well. Is lighter better? Well, lighter is always a more welcome thing in terms of fatigue over the course of an angling day. These rods, in terms of just the general holding in one's hand throughout a fishing day, casting, fishing the rod, and so on and so forth, light represents a reduction in fatigue. Okay. These rods in this light format, also within your movements of the cast, spade casts are generally made up of three strokes, anchor stroke, a D-loop stroke, and a forward stroke. Within that specter, lightweight makes ease of movement, and the attributes and design of the one matrix create tremendous line speed, and literally the line leaps off the water, fast speed, tremendous tracking, which again are hallmarks of the one design. The switch rods are going to be very fascinating in that they're 11 foot 6 length. Switch rods today come from anywhere from a 10 foot 6 all the way to about 11 foot 9. Those are common lengths in switch rods. These are going to all fall at 11 6. But with the weight reduction, again, upwards of 20 percent, these rods are extremely light. So what one might think of as an 11 foot switch rod is kind of a go-to length for both spay and switch use, say focused nymph fishing here in Oregon or Northern California, these rods are going to be very light and are going to allow for ease of nymphing with lines such as Rio Switch Line. Even though you might think 11.6 is a little long, it's not. Not with this weight reduction. So there is where that plays. Any caster who's familiar with spay and enjoys the love of spay casting is going to cast one of these rods. The crispness of the cast, the line speed, the loop, positive turnover, all these aspects are going to hit folks who are truly in love with spay casting. The switch, find, the switch fans will have a dual tool that can double down as nymphing as well as a baby spay rod. For me, they're going to be baby spay rods, but lots of folks, particularly in this part of Oregon, are going to find these perfectly at home in nymph fishing environments, Oregon coast, southern Oregon, and so on. Strength of the one family of rods was, was talked about with the introduction of the single handers. We sold a lot of them. We haven't seen any back. Is there an attribute to the to the kinetic technology or the way the rod's built uh, that's adding to the strength? And is that a positive? Well, obviously, it would be a positive to the spay. But are you seeing that um, in the one family strength of the rod in terms of breakage? The breakage has been a non-issue in the one series. Frankly, in this day and age. All rods are designed at Sage, a hallmark of Sage design under founder Don Green as well as chief rod designer Jerry Seam is to build strong rods that are casting tools. 
These things are equally important. You don't want to sacrifice weight for strength. We never do in terms of the graphite composite makeup of these rods. They're built to endure years of use as a performance angling tool. The handle design, we talked about that a little bit this morning. It's going to be a little slimmer than what I'm seeing on the video today, but it, what is it different than the Z-axis? And what have you changed a little bit to the handle to suit some of the things that have been uh, asked for? Well, this particular handle would be very similar to what you'd see on a Z-axis spay rod. Uh, this particular one, even though there's no label, is an 8136, which is one of the models in the spay. Again, five through ten weight, a couple of sevens, a couple of eights. Uh, two ten weights as well, including a 13-footer, which will soon find its way to Alaska with me for Kings. This handle is, again, similar to what you see on a Z-axis. You can expect to see a slim down, more ergonomically friendly handle as we move forward with the 1 Series. More along the lines of what, say, the VXP Series has. Downwalking reel seat is also new in these rods, which is a change in traditional design and sage. Very good. Thanks for coming by, George. Got it.